big country of ours. Uh, I went through a lot of sacrifices and and I did a lot for this uh, country where I was in the uh, U.S. Navy. Um, it, it, it's affecting my uh, uh, equilibrium and balance. And um, so I have to use this walker now. Um, behind me is why I got my soki ship. Now a soki means literally head of the household. And um, it's acquired when you create your own system of the martial arts. At least having a, a, a vast knowledge in a base uh, style, and my vast knowledge is in Shuri Te slash Shuri Wu, uh, and then all the other styles that I uh, study, um, i.e., Hungar Kung Fu from Master Lo Wang. Um, American Kimpo Karate uh, under the tutelage of Grandmaster Ed Parker uh, I mean, uh, with the instruction of Ed Boos um, Little Jiu Jitsu uh, So Taekwondo uh, I studied uh, WTF uh, Taekwondo uh, under Master Sung Lee. Lee um, And, um, of course, Shunji Lu Kempo, Shunji Lu Kempo, uh, S-H-O-R-I-N-J-I-R-Y-U, and, and the word is kind of like mushed much together. Uh, uh, that was a, a, a softer style that was similar to Shui Te, Shui Lu, um, I studied that on the master Mayhem Stephen, who passed away. And he's the one that actually put me in for my uh, Soki ship. And uh, I actually was honored as a Soki through the board of, of masters. Um, I got the, the, the purple uh, sash because, you know, purple is royalty, and uh, royalty the head of the family, and, and, and this uh, nice fancy. Uh, cover. Um, and behind me is my system of the martial arts uh, called Tiger Lu. Um, the uh, knife and eight crews are not on here, but that's normally a white belt. Uh, but it starts at the seventh crew, well, which is the purple belt. Uh, I mean, uh, the yellow belt, sorry. Seventh crew is the yellow belt. Um, <clears throat> I got purple on my mind. <laughs> right. so, yellow. Stick. Green. Fifth. Two is blue. Uh, four two is the purple. Uh, uh, and then uh, third two uh, brown. Uh, second first two. That's what this circle represents. <coughs> and then the first hand, the black belt. And then this represents second and third dan. So you notice that the circles I have a circle inside represents more than one. Uh, this represents fourth and fifth dan. This represents the koshi, sixth, seventh, and eighth dan, the tiger does. Uh, this represents the ninth dan, the master. I'm on my stand now. And this represents the 10th stand, which I'll get before I'm the age of 60. I'll be eligible in a year and a half. And uh, that's what the, the Tiger Wu uh, poster, uh, this outline, the circle, represents. And you're going not only full circle, you're going outside the circle. And 
now anything is complete now completing the uh, the journey. Alright. My video today is gonna be Tai Chi and my walker. I'm gonna show you some Tai Chi exercises that you can do while sitting that will help uh, keep the shoulders uh, loose. Uh, this is uh, not VA Tai Chi. This is actual Tai Chi. Thank you. Tim Tukoski for my new Kicking It With The Koski's channel. So 
I'm going to have that kind. I'm going to have my hands kind of inside, and, and that's going to help keep my, you know, kind of like loosen this up as I as I pull down. So I'm, right now I'm kind of like stretching, curling my spine, stretching a little bit. Right. Okay. And another basic raise hands. So raise hands, slightly bend the elbows. And no hands. Raise hands. And no hands. Raise hands. And no hands. All right, and then. You know, you know when you go to a single whip or double whip and you turn on the body? But here, instead, I'm going to embrace the moon. So I'm going to bring my hands out, embracing the moon, and I'm going to slightly turn my body. And this is going to help loosen the lower back. Just slightly, slightly look, and kind of looking through my hands.